The class that I was just in is called Differential Topics and Number Theory. It's an advanced topics class. Number Theory has to do a lot with going from an initial state to a final state and optimizing that path. So you can see how that correlates to a Rubik's Cube that we were just doing, which is going from an initial scrambled state to a final uh, clean state and how you can optimize that path using Number Theory. So for our group, we're working on the pyraminx. So it's like a pyramid-shaped Rubik's Cube. And at least for us, we're focusing on different aspects of it. So for, I guess, for me, I'll be focusing more on like describing how different edge pieces and parts of the pyramid rotates so that it can fulfill different types of combinations, eventually leading to about 75 million different permutations or ways to solve the cube. We were assigned different projects to each group. Uh, I'm working on a uh, robotics project for a robot that will solve a cube. Other ones are focusing on two by twos and like different um, tricks or methods they can use with it. I think like the purpose in class of number theory is to kind of get students exposed to problem solving and learning how to think outside the box. Because traditionally, I guess in more like calculus or algebra, students are taught to follow the textbook and like learn and memorize specific steps. But in number theory, you really get to engage in the problems and learn how to like creatively think for yourself.